You apply for your EIDL grant and loan money in March, you still haven't seen anything, and you wonder where it is? It's Jovita Late. Thanks for tuning in. This is your host with the matching scarf and shirt, Scarface, and hope you are good and safe, and hopefully not sweating bullets in a scarf in 80 degree weather, but you know, that's the warmth of the SVA. Uh, as always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and I'm sure you have some. Like, what the hell is he wearing a scarf for? Uh, and you, and please hit that bell on the front of this channel so you get an alert <laughs> when I try to look for some Scarface music. But I'm worried that, uh, you know, mafia music doesn't really fit. But anyway, uh, this, if you're new to this channel, this is our new program that deals with the moving goalposts at the SBA. And it's really actually an important program, despite the the, uh, the, the, the costumes involved. You know, it, it, a lot of the viewers who are new to this channel, thank you for subscribing, are viewers who are ready to apply for the new EIDL loan and grant portal when it goes open next week. And so you need to really... Uh, be attuned to the policies of SBA and you know if you applied for an EIDL loan before or grant before and you think you know everything you need to know oh no you know it's sort of you know the SBA is sort of like the XFL they make up the game, rules of the game as you go along um, so Jovita Late is the channel and the program that will give you the details about where the goalposts are that moment of the day uh, and it might also teach you how to tie a scarf so it doesn't get in your way during filming an episode. Um, so here are the details. Uh, there are There is going to be the opening of the EIDL portal next week. Uh, what day is it? We don't know. If you didn't watch our EIDL loan video today, please watch it and jump to the 10 minute mark because boy, uh, you know me, I, I try to keep it happy and, and, and peppy, but boy, I chastise some of you that are falling for that Russian bot or you know, channel out of nowhere that is telling people the portal is open, the portal is open, sort of like, you know, the, the opening segment of Fantasy Island, the portal is open, the portal, no, the portal is not open. Um, it is not open. And if you're clicking on an internal link that someone has sent you to a streamlined application that looks, that doesn't meant to mention the word agricultural, don't assume that it's open. The only way to know whether the portal is open is going to sba.gov and then going to the section for EIDL grants and then seeing those nice words there that say it is only open for agricultural. I know the viewers of this channel are very sophisticated. They are all small business owners, but some of you have unfortunately fallen for the trap of people trying to help you, which unfortunately are helping you. And that gets me to my first item of business on Jovita Lake today. What will be the location of Jovita's goalposts next week for those of you who applied for agricultural, you know, yesterday or in May uh, and acts when you clearly were not a farmer, you were a car dealer and find out uh, you were denied within 24 hours when I told you so, and now are ready to apply for the correct portal. What will, what will Jovita do with you? Um, the short answer is I don't know, but I'm telling you right now that I do want you to reapply if you are a new EIDL applicant business. This is for new business owners that have never applied, that are new to this channel, who wanted to apply for EIDL in March or April, didn't know about it, didn't hear about it, didn't get a scarf in the mail with a little post-it note saying, hey, apply for EIDL and I'll be able to wear scarves to congressional hearings. You didn't know that EIDL existed in March and April. And so now you've heard about it. You're excited. You want to apply. Um, and when you are ready to apply, and then unfortunately you fell for a rush sort of bot and you apply to pursue pre, uh, prematurely. Well, if you did apply when it was agricultural in the month of May or the month of June uh, and were denied summarily, you're going to have to reapply. I mean, there's no other way to say it. What Jovita is going to do with you, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, is she going to wrap a scarf around you and pull real tight? I, I just don't know. But um, you need to reapply. So we will slowly find out as the portal begins to open. It is not open. This is a Sunday video. It is not open. Do not 
uh, uh, look at the plane above me and, and see the, the uh, meshes being hung from behind from mid saying, apply so Javita can mess you up. No, it is not open yet. It is not open yet. But when it's open, will Javita uh, Carranza, the head of the SBA, punish you for applying when you're an agriculture, for an agricultural business when you clearly weren't? We don't just don't know. Um, that is the first goalpost that we need to examine. Second goalpost, and this came up yesterday and the grant video, and I want to touch on it now because it really is a, a topic that's getting discussed a lot, um, is new businesses. You got to remember that the EIDL grant and loan process uh, program uh, has a history. The term EIDL does not was not in, was not created by the CARES Act. It predated the CARES Act. But the current version of the EIDL grant and loan that we're all talking about on this channel uh, was embodied in the CARES Act. It was adopted for people and businesses for businesses that were hurt by COVID nineteen by the pandemic. If you have a new business in which you opened yesterday, uh, and it's impacted by the pandemic yesterday. Boy, I don't know if you can apply. That is not the current indication from the congressional hearing for last week. The congressional hearing for last week was they were going to reopen it for people who would have applied back in March or April but couldn't and now want and are now able to apply. But I'm not going to say you don't qualify. We just need to we just need to see what happens when the portal opens next week. My guess <laughs> Based upon the way uh, Jovita doesn't really want to tell you much of anything, is that it's not going to say. It's just simply not going to say if your business had to have been impacted by COVID-19 in February, in March, in April, in June, uh, or or if there's a certain period of time. It's a little bit different than, it may be different than PUA or UI, where you actually have to certify you were impacted during respective weeks. I don't know what, what uh, Joe Fito is going to do. And here's the net result, is that if your business is brand new, if your business, um, you know, was established, let's say, in April, um, then th th there is a, there's a miss, there could be a disconnect, and I'll tell you why. If you were started in April and you had no business because of the uh, COVID-19, then you really never had business. Uh, and this is a, this is not, this is not a verifiable perhaps business at all. As you recall, the, the streamlined application asks you for 2019 data. If you are new and you have no 2019 data, uh, you know, the best you might actually see is $1,000 because they're going to say, hey, how do we see that you ever had any sales in 2019? You're just new. Um, so I've got a lot of questions about new businesses. I've also got questions about businesses that aren't new, that are 2019, 2018 businesses, but didn't get around to establishing themselves for purposes of corporate structure, even though they're corporations. I don't know. I mean, this is, it's its just too much of a hot mess. Uh, this is why the, I did a video several weeks ago about really getting your corporate structures set up right. Because I told you there is going to be, and I don't just mean this for Javina Light. Uh, you know, it's going to be for Rubio Light. It's going to be for Mikado Light. It's just, there's going to be other pandemic assistance plans that are going to come out in the next few months. I think it came up on the Main Street Lending Program. I said, hey, get your corporate structure set up. Get it, get everything ready. Because please don't tell me you didn't have it ready and then you didn't you didn't qualify for a loan. I mean, that is the worst thing you could possibly do. So some of you had businesses which you incorporated last year, but you hadn't uh, you know, done things right. Ultimately, we really don't know. I think the most important thing is that you have an incorporation, meaning you're incorporated with the Secretary of State of your state. You have an EIN. You have a business banking account. Um, uh, for purposes of businesses, that's the best thing. I know. I absolutely see it because I see it coming. I see it in the comments, which I don't think I'm going to get to it. <laughs> There's so much of Javita and her goalposts. Uh, I think that we're going to see a lot of businesses that are going to apply next week that are going to drop in the comments of Javita Lay that they're sole practitioners, that it's under their social security number, that X, Y, and Z, and I just sense a lot of problems coming. I'm not going to say you don't qualify, 
but had you uh, incorporated, you know, even in January, um, had you set up your corporate structure, this would be so much easier. Um, so that's that. Finally, the last and the biggest question that Javita Lane has been hit with in the last 24 hours, and it came in the Grant video yesterday, and we're going to do it again in tonight's Grant video. I'll drop in the links above. You know, this is one of four videos in our programming block tonight. <laughs> there goes the scarf. Uh, EID Loan, which has already gone live, which talks about getting your loan approved and how not to avoid it getting disqualified or denied. Two, Javita Late. Our new series coming up after Javina Late is Marco Polo, which uh, addresses which senators help you get your EIDL process approved and who really are not helping small businesses. And finding our EIDL grant video. Uh, in our EIDL grant video yesterday, we talked about this whole nuance of a applying for the EIDL program when it opens next week, but that you've applied before. Um, and we went over sort of, the, the scarf is really annoying me. Uh, we we went, went over yesterday the whole nuance of when you have, when you own different businesses. Um, and it's, it's really quite, it is really quite facts and facts intensive. If you didn't watch yesterday's EIDL grant video, I want you to watch it, but I'm going to summarize it right quickly for you. Cause I know this is going to be one of the goalposts for Avita. Did I say Avita late? Uh, I don't even know the name of the own program. <laughs> you see a Madonna coming out of the balcony suddenly singing. Uh, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the, um, when, when the portal opens next week, I'm seeing comments already from some of you that say you have side gigs as Uber or Lyft drivers, but you applied before for EIDL grant and loan money. Uh, you know, here are the rubs. They need to all be separate structures. I don't want to hear that both of them are on your on your Schedule C. Uh-uh, not going to qualify. You can't have uh, an EIDL application in March or April under your Social Security number, under your tax return. Uh, and then doing another EI, EIDL application under your social security and your tax return just because it's an, an additional Schedule C. Mm -mm. This is why you needed to have separate tax structures set up. This is why you need to have separate business structures. You could have done it um, you know, last year, the year before, but the fact that it's all on that same tax return, it is, it's not going to pass. You can't do that. It is, you're, not, you're not supposed to be using the process for that. Now, if you have totally different tax returns if you uh you know you own a restaurant chain and it's uh and it has its own llc tax return and you also own a shoe store chain and it has its own tax return well the shoe store chain can apply for any ideal loan and the and the and the restaurant chain can apply for any ideal loan you just happen to own two different totally different businesses that have different corporate structures absolutely they can apply um but i sense a lot of you have not taken the effort to keep things separate over the years that you just thrown things onto your own individual tax return. Uh, I know this is going to be a very complex discussion as we go forward in the next week because I'm seeing a lot of the comments. So that's where we are. Finally, which you know, Vina Lake gets more complicated than trying to figure out how to keep this scarf not annoying me during a take me in 90 degree weather is the following. Um, you're going to be asking about the grant money. I mean, that's where Javita Light is going to hit it out of the ballpark. You're going to ask me, where's your grant money and why is she late with your grant money? Well, if you don't recall, and then you probably don't, because at that time it was only about 120 viewers a day compared to, you know, the millions to millions now per day. When we first started on April 25th and I was standing in front of a deserted beach in the Hermosa Beach during a, during a lockdown uh, and reporting the nuances of the EIDL grant and loan program, I reported that, hey, it, it says on the portal that you're supposed to receive, it says in the streamlined application you're supposed to get paid your grant within three business days. Will Javita give you your grant? money in three business days 
possibly, and I'm going to tell you why. When the agricultural portal went live in early March, uh, the first few days, the viewers of this channel who were agricultural actually commented that, one, they got their grant money, two, they got their loan money in three business days. They actually reported it was that fast a turnaround. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen this time because I'll tell you why. Agricultural had their own loan officer department for processing loans that made it really swift. It might happen, and you know why it may this time is because Javita late is actually Javita early on getting her entire staffing ready. She's gone through this process for now for two months. She knows how to have more loan officers in place and get things processed faster. So you may get your grant money as an advance now as opposed to something you wait around and get in the month of June after the fact. Um, will I have new Vortex viewers? Will there be a June 8th Vortex or a I mean, a July 8th vortex. Will there be a, a June 30th vortex? I don't know. I mean, are we going to re-encounter the same problems? I don't know. <laughs> as much as my scarf matches my shirt, I certainly predict that there will be channels out there telling you you're going to get $10,000 EIDL grant money next week. <sighs> Trust me, you are not. You are not. There is nothing in this entire universe of scarfs and sachets that indicates any change or digression in the SBA's policy about $1,000 per employee. So when that portal opens next week, um, there you go. Finally... And I have to address the good and the bad and everything in between. I have seen comments by people that are really horrific, uh, not about this channel, but about what you're thinking of doing. Good luck to you, but I uh, this channel will not be addressing any type of people that intend to act that way towards the process when it opens next week. We will neither reference your actions nor uh, talk about your actions on camera because you know what you're doing is totally unacceptable and inappropriate. And I'm sorry that you may have been aggrieved by the SBA uh, previously, but you have no right to be doing what you're intending to do next week. And I am very uh, displeased by your, uh, your defaulting to something um, which is really, really... Um, it's, it's, it's really quite bad. So with that, as the wind is literally about to blow, knock over the set, uh, maybe it's Javina. She heard me and she's like, get, get him off that show. Um, a lot of comments yesterday. And <laughs> boy, I just opened one. I can't see this on air. It just, some of you folks had the greatest comments, but boy, I, I, I can't say these on air, some of these things. Um, fabulous scarves, scarf, scarfy, yes. Uh, I hope you like my scarf face today. Um, Senator Cory Booker's, uh, Cory Booker's office has not been responding to several of my comments. His office was my second attempt as the first was Bonnie Watson. New Jersey sucks. Very well said. Uh, you know, I don't there you know who's head of the congressional uh house committee to investigate Jovita Carranza a representative from New Jersey I don't want to hear that New Jersey and New York uh uh has had a well you don't want to hear it. I've actually been saying has gotten a disproportionate loan number of EIDL grants and loans approved for businesses. You know what? Your senators have done not have literally done nothing. Um, they have not helped your 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 businesses locally. It's very interesting where the businesses were really not helped by viewers. Uh, uh, did not help viewers of this channel also is correlated by the places where the the number of loans were denied it's quite interesting um, uh, someone else is very disappointed in Corey uh, apply for reconsideration you'll get a yes I've been waiting two and a half months was denied for the loan never received my grant and my credit score dropped a hundred points this is scarf ridiculous horrible. Um, if you didn't watch our loan video today, I want you to watch it because I discuss how I really want you to get your credit score up. Um, it's in the middle of that video at the 10 minute mark. Please watch that video because I discuss how you're going to get your loan approved. But I also tell you how I want you to focus on getting your credit score up. I emailed Blackburn yesterday. I got a response almost immediately and promised to look into it.
Um, that's a response to another person who said, is Lamar Alexander and Marsha Blackburn good senators? So thank you, um, Senator Marsha Blackburn. That's great. I will be featuring you in uh, Marco Polo coming up, in which we talk about senators who really are doing nothing, great stuff and some doing horrible stuff. Uh, what is Javita's email address? Lord, do I look like Google? <laughs> it's always in the comments. Um, only one hard poll. My score didn't bulge. I was offered $132,000 after I checked my credit, and I was denied. Whoa. So here we go. A bombshell late in this video. So one viewer um, got a $132,000 loan offer. Uh, accepted it and it was denied. I mean, that is a rare circumstance. Um, coming to a th DC studio says Scarf Games. Coming to a theater near you, courtesy of Miss Carranza in Scarfland. Guest starring Scarfy Smurf. <laughs> oh my goodness. I keep on clicking on the scarf waiting for Weeble Scocks. Yes, um, there are no two Weeble Stocks on this channel. Uh, but if there was a scarf uh, equity, maybe there could be. I finally got a portal invite, but it was only $23,000. I will not survive the first payment. I requested to increase my loan to $150,000. I got four years of tax returns to prove. I'm contacting my New York senator, my Nevada senator, and I signed the privacy form. I need $150,000 to survive. Uh, boy, and this goes, and I'll end with this. This really goes to Javita Light for next week. Um, when you apply for the EIDL loan and grant next week, and I should have uh, added this before, I was always a lot, late night bombshell, and here's the late, latest bombshell on Javita Late. You need to have that calculation ready. Um, they're going to ask in that streamlined application next week, revenue and cost of goods sold. There's a reason why you, this person, uh, Voice Bootcamp, was only approved for $23,000, uh, for $15,000. Excuse me, $23,000 and not $150,000. $150,000 loan means you have incredible amount of net revenue from last year. And uh, your, your cost of operations, I assume it's services, is quite low. So um, it's not one thing to say, hey, I have a lot of expenses I need to survive. You have to be, at it, be ready to prove that. So when you apply for the, long, uh, uh, the streamline application next week, get ready ready with your financial calculations. I advise people on this channel um, before PUA went live to get financial numbers ready ahead of time because you know it's going to be asked. Get them ready. Get the number of employees ready. Get all this data ready, your EIN, your business address. Get all this information ready. Have it saved on computer. Open a notepad file. Put it on the right. Save it there and have it ready because when it goes live, you have all the things ready to input and you know how to proceed. If you have questions about today's Javita Light program, which I know you do, drop them in the comments below. We may feature them in tomorrow's recording. Coming up later is Marco Polo. And finally, ending tonight is EIDL Grant. As always, TFLA for more. <laughs>